So all the bridesmaids um, picked a word that we thought described Meredith and then Meredith and Josh together. Um, and my word was home. Um, <laughs> I'm going to cry. And we're just going to do a couple sentences so y'all aren't here all night. But um, Meredith pulls out the best parts of the people that she loves. Um, because being a friend um, with Meredith means that you are fully brought in um, to her heart and to the way that she loves people. My life has forever changed and I know Jesus better because of the way that you have loved me um, and the way that you and Josh love each other. <laughs> Our sophomore year of college when we lived together and he was just, I was asking him what he was struggling with and he was like, man, honestly, like, I don't want to hold on to Meredith. Like, if God calls her somewhere else and that's us apart, like, I want to see her go because I want the best for her. That is so radical. Like, what is he even talking about? Like, letting go to love of his life to, like, you know, for her to pursue whatever God is calling her to pursue. Like, I respected that a ton. And I just want to say thank you guys for just being such a Christ centered um, relationship for these past five years. And now you guys are entering the season of marriage. and. It's just such a beautiful thing to see uh, a couple who just fought for the covenant of marriage and now you guys are coming into that. Um, and I just couldn't think of two better people to uh, come together. Josh and Meredith are special people, aren't they? Simply by looking at their wedding party, it's easy to see that they are people who impact people. They are passionate about loving others well and doing so to ensure that those around them have every opportunity to interact with the God that created them. Others can't help but gravitate towards Josh and Meredith because we are attracted to the Jesus that overflows from within them. Jesus, I'm so thankful for this woman and for you placing um, her in my life and Man, we're just thankful for your love and sacrifice. Um, God, I pray that as we enter into this covenant, that we um, continue to look to you and to look at scripture um, to model a marriage and a life that is honoring to you. Um, and as you tell us uh, to love each other as you love the church and gave yourself up for her, um, man, I pray that type of courage and heart in myself um, as well as for Mary. Um, so we just give all of this to you, Lord. Uh, we invite you into the midst of all of this uh, because we know that you are the purpose of it all. Um, it is totally worthless without you um, in the middle of it. So uh, thank you. For people around us this weekend that love us, thank you for creating this covenant. Um, and man, we just pray for fun tonight. Um, and um, man, lots of laughs, a lot of love, um, but totally for the purpose of making your name great. Um, so we love you. And, amen. You have raised these kids well. Um, you have raised them to know the Lord. Um, they have found the one who their soul loves. And it is because of you guys pointing them to Jesus. So thank you for the example of that. Um, we love you so much, and we're so excited to celebrate.
Josh and Meredith. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Josh, you may kiss your bride. And now, I present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Josh Tillery. <laughs> 